from getting out of grabs to KOing your opponent when taking damage. Yes, I'm talking about desyncs. The one thing us Rosalina players love to do, but for our opponents, well, I think you might have experienced a reaction at a tournament. So today I'll go into detail about this technique and how it's performed. So let's get started. I'm Rooks15 and I'll be your Rosalina and Luma guide. This desync is performed when either Rosalina is grabbed or if Rosalina is taking damage. As we go back in the history of the patches, Luma was free to do whatever she pleased. If Rosalina was grabbed or taking damage at any moment, and Luma wasn't. She could still attack the opponent, but after a few patches, that all changed. But wait, Wilksy, Luma is still doing this today. Why? Good question. It's all to do with frames. Luma's jabs and nair come out very quickly. It all depends on who you are facing and what move or grab frame animation is coming at you. Now, as you're about to be grabbed, it's a good idea to mash the A button to see if Luma can perform a jab or a tilt. If Luma has performed one of them just in time before the grab frame window, the game is tricked into thinking Rosalina is fine, while really she's not, meaning the desync has now occurred. If Luma has gone rogue, meaning that she's not with you, you have a lot more frames to work with for some strange reason. Guess the developers didn't think to check this one. So timing is everything. If you don't get the desync, well, you just have to take the punish. If Luma is taking damage or getting pummeled, unfortunately you cannot perform it whatsoever. So grabs you have to watch out for mainly are Captain Falcon, as she drags you across the stage and pummels you fast, as well as Pikachu and Diddy Kong, as their pummel hitboxes are very big. So, why is it called the Retribution? Well, the name says it all. You hurt me, or hurt you even more. So, for example, if you were grabbed, you could get Luma to do a multi-jab trapping the opponent inside. Then you can grab them back and do a lot more damage. Also, if your opponent is on a high percent, you can go for a sweet spike up tilt getting an easy stuck. There are so many scenarios the Retribution desync can be used, so I'll only go over a few. The rest is up to you. Doing this tech is very simple. To do it, you do your up B as normal. Then, as you land onto the stage, you can do your 1 2 3 jab or multi jab. This tech is rarely used because, well, once you do it, you're very vulnerable. However, you use this as your opponent is launched off stage as a ledge guard. However, timing is quite strict depending on who you're up against, because if you're up against someone who can recover very quickly, well, you might not have enough time to implement it. Myself, I would recommend doing it in doubles, as there's so much priority and ledge cover, while your teammate can find a way to use it to his or her advantage. This tech occurs when Rosalina bunks her head underneath the stage, causing the desync. This happens as Rosalina is about to do her nair, but it's been cancelled just as she bunks her head, leaving Luma to be tricked into doing a jab, causing the desync. This tech is one of the most difficult to do as it requires timing and getting back onto the stage, because if you get it wrong, well, you could lose a stock or leave yourself very vulnerable, so practice makes perfect. To do this, we must make Luma go rogue and place her near the ledge, not off the ledge. Otherwise, she'll be facing the wrong way and she'll jump back onto the stage causing the screw up. Now, once you've done that, we make Rosalina go underneath the stage. Now, as you jump, at the moment as you're just about to hit the stage, press A, then press up B back onto the ledge. As you do your up B, press A again on the second jab. Now the desync has begun. It's up to you if you want to do 1, 2, 3 or cause the multi jab trap. You can do this on Smashville and Town and City. Final destination unfortunately is impossible as there's no flat surface. You could do this on Battlefield but the stage is very unbalanced so you have to figure out where the flat surfaces are on the stage. I wouldn't recommend doing this on Loyalist or Dreamland because of pineapple and stage tilts. So it's best to be safe than sorry, especially if you're in a tournament. That's it my friends, the lesson is now over, class dismissed. 
If you want live updates and see more content, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Twitter to see me in the Smash scene and tournaments. I'd like to thank the Spanish Smash community for making and coordinating Tech Republic as I had an awesome time as well as meeting new people, as well as facing new foes and making myself a better player. So my friends, until next time, keep the stars shining bright.